what you're doing in each one of our lives, Father God. We we commit um, the work, Lord, of our hands into your mighty hands, God. We pray, Lord, we uh, pray for your wisdom, Lord, your leading and um, your favor, Father God, even as we move forward in, in the things, God, that you have in store for us, Lord. We thank you, Father. And, and specifically, I just pray, God, for for each um, each student and for the for the research work, Lord, they have undertaken, God, for the topic that they have, Lord, submitted. And Lord, we, Lord, I pray for guidance. Lord, I pray for favor. Lord, I pray for open doors. Uh, Master, we pray that um, you will enable uh, each one to, Lord, uh, to do their very best. And I just pray that even as th things take shape, oh, Father God, that, um, Lord, the the output of Father God, the report of God, will be a blessing to them personally, God, for what's ahead, and also uh, will be um, something that will encourage others as well, the body of Christ as well, God. We just want to thank you, and uh, we'll just give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, um, yeah, so... <clears throat> Welcome. Uh, today, I just wanted to share a few thoughts, and then uh, maybe uh, we just have a discussion on how things are going for us. Um, so, yeah, uh, one of the things that I wanted to uh, <clears throat> just uh, tell up front is that you know, when it comes to our research work and some of the topics that we are <clears throat> that we are handling, you know, um, you know, there could be other information about the topic about the you know the very things that you're looking at uh, on the net for example or so um so the thing is for us to avoid uh, you know any kind of uh, plagiarism i'm just spelling it um R -I -S -M. okay so plagiarism right so so what is this plagiarism is when we uh, copy someone else's work okay someone else has done that and then we we just copy that and use that in our report okay so i, I understand like from like uh, early interactions that many of us are doing this kind of thing for the first time you know there are many who are actually who've done it before so i mean you are experienced you are seasoned so um so you could also help others in the class you know maybe you have the class i'm sorry the group <clears throat> where you can share your input, you know, on, on how things can be done. So you can, uh, that way, help others as well. But uh, uh, often, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, so this is not, this is something that we cannot um, like indulge in, like knowingly or knowingly. Uh, we might, we might say, okay, this, here's this wonderful information which is already there. So let me just use it, you know, uh, as part of my re report. Um, well, so, you know, this is what plagiarism is, plagiarism is, you know, it's presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own, uh, you know, with their consent or without their consent, it does not matter. Um, and if we kind of make it part of our work and uh, without full acknowledgement, right, without any citation um, of where you've taken that, um, you know, so the idea is, you know, when, when, you get, when it gets into a report, it, it People understand one who's evaluating things that okay, this is something original. This is something. Um, th these are the works that it has already been. You know, it's just referred referred to. You know what is present there. So that distinction needs to be very clear. Okay. So when you when you present it as your own, then then it becomes something that is plagiarized, right? So that we need to avoid that at all costs. Okay. So because there are other you know online plagiar plagiarism checkers, you know, like online tools, which can actually kind of, um, when we just upload the document, they can actually check, go through the document, the application, you know, uh, knows, okay, this section has been copied from this work, etc. So it can actually, you know, throw up that result. Okay, um, so, um, so kindly avoid, you know, e-learning students, online students here. So please avoid any form of plagiarism. You know, if you're using content which has already been presented, then you need to give the acknowledgement, cite it as okay, this is this is from this particular book, the author, whatever, you know. Um, so you cannot just copy paste and then present it, right? Uh, that's something that I wanted to share. Okay. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, um, so some of our work uh, is uh, is very academic in nature, like we are, you know 
going deeper into the word of God or you know on certain topic and we're researching and we are presenting it. And some of it is very, um, you know, it, it depends on a survey, right? You are actually um, talking to people, <clears throat> like it's it's about uh, what they've gone through, you know, like for example, some topics are like, uh, you know, burnout among spiritual leaders. Uh, and then there is also a topic of, you know, why the youth are not coming to church. You know, some some of you, you know, had these topics. So, um, so it requires, getting some data it requires gathering information uh, from the target audience not, not the target audience from the sample uh, you know from the sample space as you call it. so uh, the, the very people and the very behavior that you're trying to you know get information from you need to actually i mean you know, that you're trying to study um the, the, maybe it could be the problem of uh, addiction, you know, drug use among certain age group, and and even in the church, or um, you know, so we are trying to gather information from real data, right? From uh, getting some real data, so um, we can use questionnaires in order to use that, in order to get the information. So we've been talking about that, okay? Uh, questionnaires. Um, so the <clears throat> so. Uh, if it's a questionnaire, the questionnaire can be like quantitative in nature. In fact, uh, if it's quantitative, you're, <clears throat> you're asking questions like, uh, you know, you're like yes or no. Okay, have you, uh, you're asking, you know, let's say the question would be, have you ever um, been part of a creative team? Uh, or does your church use any kind of uh, creativity in order to, creative methods in order to reach out yes no you know and uh, your the person who's responding to that is probably a ministry uh, leader or a church member or a pastor okay so that person just ticks or answers yes or no and you get a quantitative um, uh, analysis okay these are the, the number of churches that are actually using so based on the number of the total of the yeses or the total of the noes, you come to a conclusion. Okay, these are the number of people who are actually using creative methods in their church service, their outreach, and these are the number of people who are actually not using. Okay, and based on that, you, uh, you, you know, you can actually, uh, and based on this and other questions, right? So people are saying, okay, I wish there were more creative ways. You know, I find things boring. I, I, I uh, it's not impactful, whatever. And then based on that, you, you form a conclusion okay we can be even more effective so that uh, in in our reaching out you know, <clears throat> like asha is doing something on you know uh, physically challenged like people and so what uh, what can churches do in order to <clears throat> in order to reach out to them in order to you know minister to them etc so you <clears throat> so asha would need to have a questionnaire to find out okay so who are these people who are actually getting left out right and uh, and also actually uh have them answer these kind of questions you know do you would the church you know would you feel uh, or uh, how do i put it you know would uh, it, it, it does a church that you go to right uh, does it, are there any challenges that you face face you know uh in terms of uh, physical infrastructure you know i'm not able to sit there properly i'm not able to go into the place um you know i, I use a wheelchair and I, you know and there's no wheelchair access to that place so so you might have you know the, for a wheelchair user you might have a thing you know are you able to are you comfortable are you able to get into the you know the church building without any problem um, are you able to use their washrooms or restrooms without any problem you know uh, what are some things so so that then that would be a yes or no kind of a thing which is a quantitative analysis okay so the question that can also be a qualitative analysis where we are asking questions like um, <clears throat> well uh, the, the same example uh, of you know physically challenged uh, uh, so maybe um, ministering to physically challenged you know people so we can ask um, you know what are the different ways by which the church is reaching out to the physically challenged the physically challenged uh, you know um, people what are the ways that you are 
what are some things that you have in place as a church in order to uh, make this make um, uh, the church more inviting make the church accessible to people who are in this kind of a um, uh, in this kind of a space you know this kind of people so um, so then you know you're asking maybe a church member maybe you're asking a church leader uh, maybe a usher maybe you're using a, you know asking a pastor so it will be a qualitative response okay the church is doing this one two three four right uh, these are some things that we have in place these are so it's a qualitative it's not a simple yes or no maybe it's a qualitative right so <clears throat> uh, so that can be so the questionnaire can be both quantitative and and you can you, you know it can be a mix of both that you have certain questions which are quantitative and you have some questions which are qualitative okay so you have some open ended questions right uh, what are you know open ended where you are not giving the outcomes you know close ended would be where you're saying okay choose from one of this okay or on a scale of 1 to 10 how would you rate um, the church church's friendliness you know the church's ability to care for people on a scale of one to ten. You know, things. So those, those are close-ended. Open-ended would be we are you are actually giving the uh, you know the the you're getting the response from the person. You know you get in their own words, and they can you're not actually giving the answer for them to choose from, but you're actually giving them the freedom to answer. Now, it has advantages. Is it has its own disadvantages. Um, the advantage is that the person can actually, you know, actually respond to what needs, what whatever they've observed, whatever the challenges that are there, and uh, they can actually give a very, uh, they can, it can be a very lengthy response as well, right? It doesn't have to be just few things that you that you, that they need to choose from. So it can be a, no limits. But when you're putting together, when you are actually uh, collating it right maybe you've asked some 30 people or 50 you know you've sent the questionnaires to 50 people and you've got their response and then now a qualitative analysis or qualitative response to be able to put together and analyze now it's going to be a little complex right? it can be done but it, it because you need to read through those 50 and you need to, you need to see what are those commonalities you need to track that and you need to see what are the things that you know that are unique right you need to you you understand right people could have given okay here are some five ideas here are some 10 ideas whatever based on the question and and you need to be able to put that together uh the quantitative analysis is relatively simpler it can be just a number of count the number of yeses count the number of no's count the number of you know what is the rating that has come and you put that together and you form your conclusion right uh, one part of it based on the, the questionnaire right so it can be open ended it can be close ended it can be a quantitative questionnaire it can be a qualitative uh, questionnaire okay um so uh, like a multiple choice response would be typically a close ended um, you can also have uh, you know, a range for people to choose from, to rate, you know, their various things, you know, maybe um, the effectiveness of a certain ministry in a church and, um, you know, and just, just randomly and just mentioning a few things. So, you know, based on your topic, you'll be able to, you know, frame the questions. Okay, so um, the advantages of, um, you know, are many when it comes to questionnaires. Um, and, uh, of course, the disadvantage also is that uh, you know when you get a non-response, right, uh, to a particular question, that's uh, again a disadvantage. Or um, maybe maybe when people give some inaccurate response, right, because maybe they feel tired. Oh, I need to answer this thing, and then they just give some response, and we, in our, in our eyes, uh, we take it as a very authentic response, and maybe it was not a. Uh, authentic inaccurate response but we have to consider that as well so those are some disadvantages but by and large a questionnaire actually helps okay so some kinds of questionnaires 
how do we do that it can be a you know it can be an interview right it can be an interview in the sense you can either have a telephone conversation but when you when you are doing a telephonic conversation and uh, you know we have a you know let set of questions uh, it has to be uh, you know it has to be a minimal thing in the sense you know it, you're doing it over phone and you can't have a list of like 25 questions people may not have the time so maybe you can say okay i have just five questions can uh, can would you have the time you know to do this or can i call you later now just five questions so five questions people are okay right to answer on the phone um, and you know it will be convenient so if anything more than that it it will be good if it's a if it's a print questionnaire where you're meeting people you're giving them then they're doing or it can be an online thing right the some of the um, like your your the question paper for your you know your exams like semesters whatever you've done in the past um these are online these are actually google forms right so this is how they are actually uh, made they are actually a questionnaire so you can use google forms you can use some uh something like survey monkey that's also another thing which is available you can use google forms free and you can actually form your questionnaire and it's it's very very versatile very flexible you can have open ended we can have one word we can have you know so try it out okay so those of us who are not familiar uh, with google forms i would say you know you you start trying it out um, you know and then you can send the you know you send it send the link out and people can respond and just like you know how sometimes we uh, you know we send out the question paper and then people say you know we forgotten to certain uh, give access right and they say it's not accessible it's not a um, uh, thing so those kind of issues are there so you just learn to navigate that learn how to you know give proper access so then then the people who actually click on the link get the questionnaire they can answer they can choose uh, they can i mean answer as in they can choose certain options maybe certain things that you need they need them to you know enter in they can enter that and uh, all that you are all the things that they are uh, responses that they are actually um, giving you have the option of uh an excel sheet you know all the responses going to an excel sheet right um so you could use that okay let's uh, maybe we can look at uh, uh a sample thing here let me just see um i'm sorry i should have just come prepared with that um Just give me a minute. Okay. Okay, Christian marriage and fa oh, okay. Let me just share the screen. Okay, so some of you know this already, so please excuse. Okay, I guess you can see what's coming up. okay okay so you see uh, it's a typical google form right and how do you access it you i i guess you can see this as well let's see no uh, okay um so you just go to any you open your browser uh, google um uh, if you're using google Uh, I'm sorry. If you're using Chrome, you just open your browser and then you type in Google Forms. It would come, and you can click on it. So typically, this is uh, this is something that I've already, you know, uh, we had this last semester. So you type in, you know, these kind of questions. If you notice that uh, these are close-ended questions, okay, which of the following? scriptures can be applied for marriage these are so these are you know six responses from which the student chooses i mean chooses from right six responses so it's a close ended so there's no if the person is thinking of a seventh response uh, they can't obviously you know this question doesn't allow them to do that so it's a close ended one okay so you choose your questions what can be close ended 
you know, if it has the potential to go beyond these seven response, six responses, then you make it close ended, right? For you to get that actual information. Okay. Okay. So things like this, you can have true or false options, right? So you can actually make it out of Google Form. You need to try it out and do that. Okay. So here I've uh, very intentionally made it close ended. Okay, but you could have, you know, this, now this is an open ended thing. Like, please enter as given to the college your name. Now that's an open ended question. I could have, a, you know, selected a short answer so that it, it is just your name, of course, um, maybe a first name, surname. But you can also have a paragraph, right? Suppose you choose a paragraph, then you can type in more, and right? you can just go in and just keep typing in, typing in. Okay, so you, so that's a qualitative, you know, qualitative uh, response. Okay, so where you're typing in, you want the person to actually write some information. Maybe you want their testimony, how they came to know the Lord. Make it a paragraph. You know, frame that question and make it a paragraph. So work at it. Okay, uh, get comfortable with using this. And for those of you who need questionnaires, this is a very useful you know, uh, way of getting it. You can just send them the link, they can respond. So, so these are, you know, this is how you get the response. Okay, so when in your setting, you can actually um, set it in such a way that you can actually have a Google Sheet, Google Doc, um, an Excel sheet, where all the responses, you know, whatever answers they are, um, typing in here, and uh, where once they say submit, okay, so this is how it's going to look, right? Um, okay, uh, just a minute, please. Yeah, so so this is how it's uh, well. It's uh, I've actually uh, set it up so you can't respond in any. Okay, let's say I'm accepting those responses. Then okay, so this is how it will look, right? Your typical question paper. This is how it will look. So once I fill this in, and I say submit, okay. When I say submit, it can actually go to an Excel sheet. Okay, let me show that. Okay. Um, um, okay. Me... Okay, I don't want to show the students' marks. <laughs> So I'll just move that. Um, okay. okay. So I can I have a setting uh, when you're actually making the form. The, all the responses go into a into a Google Doc, right? Uh, so an Excel sheet where you have you know every question uh, you're able to see this right so every question is a column okay and where the student is entered so you know all these are all the responses come here so you know so if you've sent your questionnaire to whatever 50 odd people this link you get the name of the person you know, you because you form framed your question in such a way that the name they enter, these things that they choose, all the responses come here. So it's easy for you to, um, you know, collate this, you know, put it together, and uh, oops, okay, yeah. So um, so these are different ways. Uh, you, you can have either a print questionnaire, but then the the thing is, you'll have to again, you know, put it manually enter it into an Excel sheet. There can be uh, chance for errors. Uh, but if you use this uh, an e-questionnaire, then it's very, very useful. It's easier to, you know, 
um, put analyze things you can actually uh, use that so uh, but you need to be of course comfortable with uh, excel you need to be comfortable with this google form it's it's very simple just simple functions that you can use right and some of you are maybe um, already used to this you can help others as well and you know there are other um, i mean um, youtube videos actually which teach you how to do this so you can do that right okay so um, yeah i just wanted to share about that um, any questions anything related to the work that you are doing your project work any clarifications that you might have um, well you can ask now and uh, we can get that clarified any any questions Is everything going on fine you're working at it right Okay, so your silence means that everything is fine. The weather is good. <laughs> the sun is shining. And uh, okay. Okay, good. Abhina says yes. Okay, fine. So if there are any clarifications, you know, probably you're at the, you know, your information gathering stage. Um, and you are, you know, those of you who are doing a very, um, okay, Kung, I got it. So you're working on it, fine. So, if there are any, you know, clarifications, um, you can always check, right? Uh, also, I would say, you know, you can read through the uh, in the in the classwork section um, that book that was uploaded, okay, uh, which is a concise guide to res writing research papers. That would be very useful. You can go through that, and uh, you'll you find that helpful, okay, in in what you need to do. Okay. Um, if there are no questions, we can we can stop right here. We can end it here. Okay. 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 Good. So um, I don't see any questions here. So we we'll stop right here, and uh, you're, you're always always welcome to email me. Right. The anything that needs uh, any kind of thing in-person students um you know whenever we meet in the bible college we can do that um e-learning e students if you're um, you know watching this video you can always ask in the discussion thread and i'll respond okay fine so we'll, we'll close here right thank you god bless bye bye thank you pastor right see you bye, -bye. Thank you.